Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Review Card Review. Uh, I was debating whether to open this deck of cards or not, um, and then I checked on eBay, and you can still get them for about nine, ten pounds, so they're not that limited, even though it does say limited edition on them. Um, these are the Prime Art playing cards by, <laughs> here goes, okay, by Prime. P R one M E uh, via Callisto Caravaggio, Rome, Italy. So there you go, Italian stallion on deck. I'm assuming that is going to be the back design. I have one other prime deck of cards which I've done a review on in the past, uh, which. I'm hoping it isn't this deck because it would be pointless opening this deck otherwise, but I'm fairly certain it's not. Uh, tells you the blurb on the side. And on the other side. Nice gold uh, seal going around and nice tuck flap seal on the top of the box as well. Let me just pause the video um, because I'm just going to double check that. I haven't already done a review on these. Bear with me. Okie okay, dokes, so I've just double checked. Uh, it was a prime deck I had, it was that one. Um, and I'm glad I, <coughs> excuse me, remembered because I managed to leave the seal intact because the bottom opens on these prime decks of cards for some reason. And I'm debating whether to even take that gold seal off or just peel out from the bottom. Um, does it look like that opens out? Okay, let's just let's just do it. These are only nine pounds on eBay, so it's not as limited as I said, as I thought it might be. Nice little touch there with a gold seal. <laughs> but the it doesn't even come off. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Why me? These Italians really know how to seal a box up, don't they? Gosh. Weird. Okay, so am I going to break that seal or am I. God, blimey, that's a. Good God, that is tight plastic. <laughs> wow. Um. Well, I don't really want to break the seal, so I haven't got a choice, and I am going to take the cellophane off. And to be fair, my cards sit in the collection box in a dry environment, so they're not going to—it's not going to get wet or anything like that. But that is a very, very tight plastic. It's almost like it's stuck on as well. Okay, so. that cleaned up afterwards and safety first children so prime art playing cards Christ how far in are we haven't even looked at the bloody cards yet sorry folks but and it looks like I can get yes the bottom open so I can leave the seal intact which is always nice so Available still on eBay for about nine ten pounds, supposedly limited edition. Um, showed you the sides. I have a feeling that these they're not USB CC because they smell of petrol. <laughs> Seriously, they smell petrolly. So that is the back design. Oh hello, <laughs> hello my lady. Uh, <laughs> and um, well, hello, hello. No mom jokes, please. <laughs> um, okay, so that's so uh, that's weird. <laughs> How strange. Uh, there's something on there about about what 
what it is, I do not know. So I'm not going to say that there's something on there about something, but I don't know what it is. And we have another very nice lady from the other Joker. Well, well, well. Didn't know this was going to be an 18 certificate pack of playing cards. But very quickly, they are becoming my favourite Jokers. <laughs> uh, that is a lovely Ace of Spades. Absolutely glorious. Very, very nice indeed. At this point, I don't care how these handle. Um, the pips are a little bit different from the normal pip that you would get on USPCC. Even though they do feel similar to USPCC playing cards. I mean, they might be. It doesn't say that they are printed in the USA, and it usually would do. It is air cushion finish. Very nice indeed. Um, and I do have a feeling that the picture cards are going to be pretty spectacular. No. Fuck. Okay. They're okay. They're not what I was expecting. Unless this is just the spade ones. I mean, they're different. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's cheeky. A little bit of nipple action uh, there showing, folks. So, yes, a bit of a rude deck of playing cards, these. Not as rude as some decks I've owned in my youth. <laughs> From When you go to some of these shops in Corfu. Anyway, so... Aha, there we go. I knew there was some nice... Uh, uh, picture cards. I'm not centred, am I? Sorry. Yeah, actually, I am impressed. The, the, the spade ones, mm, the spade picture cards, mm, that one, I, it, it must be something to do with um, paintings. Wow, the deck just keeps on getting better. This is a deck that just keeps on giving. That is a really nice ace of clubs and now bear in mind this is nine pounds this deck so it's probably going to be cheaper in the US unless you can't get them in the US I don't know um, it just shows for nine pounds how much effort you can put into a deck of playing cards and make it different from the normal instead of doing just a bog standard deck of playing cards I'm not going to mention any names you know, not really doing anything with the picture faces like that. Not really doing anything with the picture cards or the number cards or the pips or anything like that. I know the pips on these aren't very different, but all, at least all the aces are very unique. Uh, I'll say it just shows it for nine quid, you can do a lot if you want to, and you're not just money grabbing from everybody who collects playing cards very very nice deck of cards indeed and that is probably my favorite picture card other than the joker <laughs> so let's have a quick feel uh, of them as i said to your mom last night before your dad came home um, and see if I like them or not. Which is also funny enough what I said to you. Anyway, you get the gist. So, let's see what they are like. Excellent. So, I wonder... It's just prime playing cards. I, I, this this is for a European deck of playing cards. If this is what they are, they they fan really really nicely indeed. 
Wow. Well, do you know what, peeps? As this is going to be one of my last decks of cards, I think, that I am opening for a while, I am extremely pleased that I kept these to the end because I think this is an absolutely wonderful deck of playing cards. Um, it says on here, blank card equals you. Draw on this card and send us the photo on our Facebook page. So I did show you that before. Um, really nice back design. I'm not going to be picky about the borders being a little bit thick because they're not, um, what's the word I'm after? It's not a lined border, is it? It's like a, a rough kind of edged border. But wow, I am mightily impressed. Mind you, I must say, I, I did really like the Prime playing cards as well. So when I do my top 10, um, I think you may well find these in there somewhere. So Prime playing cards, Prime art playing cards, if you can get them, I highly recommend these cards and yeah, let's go with probably my favourite card in the entire deck. So thank you all for watching, <coughs> sorry, uh, take care as always and I will see you all next time with something else.